parenting and the importance of, of parenting, getting to know the values, the core values of parenting. Now I'm going to switch us to Imago therapy. How many of you heard of Imago therapy before? Just the name. Just the name. Just a little bit of Look, I'm going to educate you about Imago therapy, and you're going to see how the parenting component comes together. EFT, I actually got trained on Imago therapy in school, not EFT. Imago therapy began in the 1990s by the author called named Harville Hendricks. And Imago, it's a Greek word for image. So image, think of that, the image of who you want. In the world, there's about 30,000 now, 30,000 Imago therapists. I'm oh, sorry, 3,000 uh, therapists in about 30 countries. Now, it's foundations. And I say foundation because many times I will ask people, so what theory do you belong to? What theory do you follow? And they will give me a something that they call theory, but it's not. What they are doing is an approach or a technique to therapy. Now, Imago therapy has your psychodynamic components. And you have your CBT, cognitive behavior therapy components. So it's really not a theory, it's just it's also an approach to working with couples. So what it's doing is it is making you and couples look at their relationship from a different perspective. It's a relational paradigm. So, do you know what paradigm means? So, it's a, a relational uh, interaction, a relational view. What Imago therapy does, it makes you look at what you know consciously, what you're aware of. And more importantly, what you are not aware of. And they bring them to the surface. And we begin to work with them. Because all what the theory talks about is that all couples will go to a, into a crisis in a matter of time. So he wrote a book, actually he's written a few books, but his most famous book is called Getting the Love You Want. And, uh, its first publication was in 1990-ish, uh, then oh, his se uh, second one was in the 2000s, and he recently published a 2015 version. That's getting the love you want. There's also a workbook that goes with it. There's also other books by other people that have been written in quest of the mythical man.
So here are some basic assumptions to it. Number one, we are an energy force. أول افتراضية في النظرية إن إحنا عبارة عن طاقة. The the number two is that that energy force can be expanded or it can be brought back together. ونمرة اثنين إن القوة قوة الطاقة دي يمكنها التمدد ويمكنها الانكماش. The goal is from the expansion or reading here to find a balance. ولكن الهدف من التمدد أو الانكماش إن إحنا نو نوجد التوازن. And balance is experienced through calmness, joyfulness, well-being. والتوازن ده إحنا بنختبره من خلال الارتياح والبهجة أو السعادة وال ال الرفاه رفاه الكون أو الإظهار الكونية بتاعتنا well-being. And we, we as an individual and we as a couple are connected to other forces beyond us. وإحنا كأفراد أو كأزواج إحنا متصلين لقوة تانية من الطاقة حوالينا. However, our uh, our connectedness is broken. ولكن ترابطنا ده هو مقطوع. Most of the time in childhood. هو بيتقطع في أغلب الأحيان من طفولتنا. So we begin to find things that uh, what soothe us emotionally soothe us. And whether it's our parents, ourselves, or other people. And it resurfaces again in marriage. So the goal for couples therapy is to do some rep restoration and reparation. Of the couple. للزوجين individually and together. كأفراد ومع بعض. There's some others. Our primary goal then, our goal is to return joy, a sense of uh, content, happiness. هدفنا الأساسي إن إحنا نستعيد البهجة والسعادة والرضا. And how we go about doing it is based on our partner. وبنعمل ده إزاي مرتكزين على شركائنا. So we teach the partner some skills, and we teach the really both of the skills. One of the primary skills is how to listen and validate. So we can re-trigger the romantic state of love. There's some more assumptions. I'm going to go through these because I want to get to the core of it. Uh, again, number 15 is we're we showing balance and wholeness. Consciously, like intentionally. And then number 20 is you must be in a committed relationship. It's not about finding the right partner, but it's, but it is becoming the right partner. Does that make sense? So it's making ourselves better so we can be a better partner. إن إحنا نحسن من نفسنا عشان نبقى شريك أحسن أو جيد. Not making them better so that we can love them or, the, or have a better relationship. مش إن إحنا نحسن من الشريك الآخر عشان إحنا نقدر ندخل في علاقة جيدة فيها حب. So that takes into account system theory that uh, we impact each other. وده بيرجع نظرية السيستم أو المنظومة إن إحنا بنأثر على بعضنا البعض. And the individuation of the person. Here it is. Number one, we are born whole and complete. But as a child, we become wounded in the process of growing up. Most of the time, those wounds occur unintentionally. 
uh, and we have an image uh, that is unconscious mind of all the positive and negative traits of our parents. وعندنا صورة مكونة في اللاوعي بتاعنا عن ايه هي الصفات الايجابية في And that's what it's ultimately called the imago. في اهالينا او في ابوينا وعشان كده بنسميها الصورة دي بنسميها الايمامو. So I'm going to uh, we'll show an, an eight minute video so that you can see a present, quick presentation on it. هنعرض فيديو كمان دقيق عن الايمامو ثلاثة. Walk into the office and he 
not the therapist, immediately shows them a way to listen to me. المزوجين ممكن يدخلوا غرفة أو جلسة العلاج وعلاج الإيمان وممكن يوري لهم طريقة إزاي يسمعوا لبعضهم البعض. العلاج بالإيمان هو بيوري نتائجه بصورة مباشرة. وكأنه بيساعد الزوجين إن هما يلاقوا نفسهم من جديد ويحصل لهم العلاج أو يحسوا 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 ويكملوا جزء من الأذى اللي حصل لهم في مرحلة الطفولة. في أحد الزوجات لما دخلت الجلسة قالت ده مش نافع. واحنا خلاص هناخد هنطلق يعني وانا عايزه اتطلق. قالوا طيب تعالوا نجرب. وده يبدو شيء جيد بالنسبه لي. الحب هو كانها وكانه مجموعه من الاشياء البديعه دي مقوله لبول فرانسيس. Well, she was standing there and she said, uh, hello. We had an instant connection. <laughs> you walked you walk in the corridor. And I was like, John Ruddick? And I'm like, yes, John. Yes, but we as conditions. 
we can do something about it. By the way, love can be great. I guess, but I'm going to stop it there. <laughs> the Imago match. Think of how you were attracted to your partner. There was a there was an unconscious process. Because sometimes we look for somebody that's going to complete us. And the mystery is somebody that's going to help repair all our childhood wounds. That drives us. That, that drives us to a person. And yet, while the, there is these uh, things that get us connected, there is also a negative match in that process. And it's that negative match that leads to ultimate frustration. It leads to frustration. So you, now you have two different factors going on. You have ended the honeymoon stage. You've entered uh, parenting. الاحباطات بتيجي من مصدرين ان احنا خلاص فترة الهانيمون او شهر العسل انتهت ودخلنا في مرحلة التربية وكأننا بنكون محدد شخصي او هوية شخصية جديدة فالعلاقة بتنتقل من انها فيها قرب شديد الى علاقة فيها بعد شديد I've gotten many couples lately that say I don't love I don't love him anymore. I don't love her anymore. But my faith obliges me to stay together. As does my family. As my as does my family uh, uh, obliges me to stay married. So as we've been interviewing people, we're noticing that they've been dissatisfied with marriage from year two to the present. But you can change that. But before I change that, I want us to do an activity. And it's on your sheets of paper, and you need to answer some of these questions. Number one, I say let's actually list three negative traits. Of your primary caregivers. And then write A for that. Close a lot of information. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Are you sure you want only three? <laughs> <laughs> For this activity, yes. Take 30 more seconds. Now there's three positive traits from your parents, each one. You are done, write the letter B. Now, letter C. What I wanted and needed most as a child was. عن الأشياء اللي أنا فعلاً كنت محتاجها لما كنت طفل احتياجاتي كطفل Letter D. This letter D. Uh, list positive memories of your childhood and your responses associated from those memories. So, so the feelings that you had to those memories. Positive. This is three memories, okay? Three memories for the Search for the positive, do so, please. Even if you have to list neutral memories. Short to my own or my 
but right next to it with siblings. Still need more time? Okay. Now, letter E. List three recurring childhood frustrations. For example, I didn't get listened to or there was no physical touch. And then list your reactions to the frustration. For example, how you felt and what did you do? Ready? Who do you for time? And then? I use this exercise with couples who want premarital counseling. Couples who want to, uh, a person who wants to remarry. 
or couples in which we progressed in therapy. أو مع الأزواج اللي بنشوف اللي هم تقدموا قد إيه في العلاج. Except they make it an hour long, I shorten it for you. هو بيستغرب ساعة لكن أنا عمل يعني خليته مكمش ليكوا أو تصورتوا عشانكوا. Now here's here's a For premarital couples, I do it with them together. With couples who I'm seeing uh, uh, together, I'm progressing to therapy. Like we resolve the crisis, now we're progressing. I will do again. Either I give them a choice to do it together, or they do it at home. I get them started with the activity with each one of them so they know how to do it. Yes, you have to figure out your style of doing therapy. Like for example, with all couples, all individuals, uh, really most of my cases I do a genogram. That's my very basic one. When a couple comes to me in, a private, in my private place, I always treat what they come in for immediately. I will still do a genogram, but not this exercise. Because I want to take care of what they need. Did I answer your question? No, no, okay. What I'm going to do right now is the beginning part of it. We're gonna, I'm going to show you how it becomes part of the therapy in a moment. So what the, the homework is so that they expand the whole information. I gave you a very short time. Other question before we go on. No, those are the those are the initial questions. There's uh, there's further work, but this is the initial question. So I I participated in a retreat where these were the initial questions that we needed to have and bring them all together. A retreat, sort of a, a weekend uh, tying together with other couples. No, there we had the questions that I gave you. We had to bring all that information to the retreat, and we, uh, based on the, our information, we expanded each category. So here, let me take us for the next step. So now they're coming into your office, and you're doing this assignment, and you ask them to answer these questions. I am attracted to, or I at uh, times perceive my partner to be a person who is A. All the answers are for A. Okay, so. Let, uh, write this question down. Okay. I am attracted to, or I 
At times, I perceive my partner to be a person who is. ممكن تكتبوا السؤال ده أو إن إحنا في I'm attracted to أو أنا منجذب لـ أو إلى أشياء إيه وجزء الثاني من السؤال في أوقات أنا بتصور أو بشوف شريكي شخص عامل إزاي؟ And here is uh, here is your answer A. The negative characteristics of each character, uh, caretaker or authority figure. Remember the three negative things that about your partner, or about your parents, <laughs> about your parents. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. I said write the negative traits. The negative traits that I asked you to do. I want you to list the, that's a, your answer A. You are oh, like, you are not writing negative traits about your partner. That's not the exercise. We are not blaming your partner for anything right now. <laughs> أو أنا ساعات بستقبل شريكي بالإجابة نقط، ارجعي بقى للسؤال اللي, اللي أنت جاوبتي اللي هو إيه؟ إيه التريتس اللي كانت بتو... للأب الأب أو الأم اللي كانوا بيضايقوكي وشوفي فكري إيه؟ يعني شوفي دي عادي، أوكي؟ أوكي 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 So remember, I am attracted to, or at times I perceive my partner to be the negative traits. Then B is I try to get them to be all the positive traits. And how come that I was attracted to 
the negative phrase in my head. Like Remember unconscious? Yeah. Unconscious we're not always aware of, but they attract us to them. Yes, yes. Most of the time, I they come in with two sheets. Their his sheet, her sheet. Then I give them this sheet right here, and I said, now let's get all that information. We're going to transfer it, and that's what I'm having you do. But not cheating in front in front of each other. But not what? Not cheating in front oh, of each other. Oh yes. Other. This is couples therapy. This is not individual therapy. No. Sharing or not cheating? Sharing. Yes. Sharing. Yes. Yes. And this is very important because what I'm trying to do is elevate what is unknown if it's inside of me. But I'm not aware, I want to bring it up to awareness. There is, there is no... I mean, I mean, like, those traits are not the traits that are of her partner. It's like her partner is not the resemblance of her father or her mother. So then, then I ask questions like, uh, did you discover some things along the way? Did you do therapy along the way? Did you do some personal development along the way? And those are also important things. That's why when a couple divorce, marry, divorce, and then remarry, Oftentimes, they select somebody very similar to the first version. And our job is to help them resolve some of these things. Now, the number three is, so that I can be C. All the information for number C, remember? What I wanted and needed most as a child was. I, I can show you an example. I will uh, find an example that I have and I will uh, talk to you or we'll get somebody to hopefully share. Because we're going we're gonna to separate it to teams in a little bit. Uh, I saw from myself, no, he, remember, he was this. 
your reactions, your frustrations and your reactions. Uh, the emotion, the what you need. So we can uh, we can uh, say that this is D. Yes. 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 This, yes. This is D. Frustrations. I will share mine. Just some prompt right here. Here's things that my other uh, some negative traits of my parents. Three of them. Uh, my mother. Let's think it was my father. He, he was he was distant. He was always working. Um, he cared about himself. So my, my mother uh, was overly emotional. Um, she was very strict and passive. So, I guess who I would go select? A person, the person who I was attracted to before I ever created this or came to learn about this. I wanted to marry a woman who was independent, hardworking, uh, could live uh, with me or without me, uh, was actually did a like passive, did not like passive, but guess what? She, she ended up being passive. And my, my wife works a lot. Uh, she is stoic. Oh, I just need to be quiet. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, number three, 
And I like to feel important at different times. Actually, as a child, I like to feel important. Because I was a first grandson for both sides of the family. So, here. Uh, I try to get them so, so that I can be, so that I can have some attention, so that I can be validated or acknowledged. What was the other one that I said? Acknowledge. What? Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Yeah, acknowledge important and. Can I ask something? Yes. Or yeah, go ahead. Uh, when I understand the, the question, I can not ask him to say that I am a little bit of 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 a little bit No, it's what you needed, what you needed. The unmet needs, the unmet needs. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, she's asking that what you mentioned is in her perception that this is actually what you got because you were the first... Uh, Grandson. That's, that's what, how Listen, she listen to this, okay. What I wanted and needed most. This yeah. doesn't say what, uh, was, what was unmet. Mm -hmm. Because it's the next question that gets into the, uh, this is positive memories. I had lots of positive memories going out, lots of them. Uh, but here's when, when uh, the frustrations. Historically, my father had affairs. After every child, there was another relate, second relationship. So if we translate it here, sometimes I would feel neglected and in my relationship, I would get very jealous of my wife when she would go out with her friends and I would stay at home with the kids. I wanted to feel something, but I, if I didn't get it, I would I would feel jealous, and I, and I would my reaction to her was I would not talk to her or I give her a cold shoulder. That's mine. But I had to go through this exercise to understand why I was doing certain behaviors. And just I want to appreciate and thank you that you shared something very deep about you said uh, um, so that we understand. So uh, thank you. So, so okay, although I wanted attention, I would pout or I would get jealous or I would make a a negative comment towards my wife so that Whatever fun she had had, I would diminish it. So what this does is draws the you what you do without knowing what you do to awareness. And you as a therapist needs to uh, help resolve that. Okay. 
Okay. Question? Yes. So what about the couple selection? Uh, do we need more psychologically oriented couple to, to be interested? No, this is, you would be. I have used it in, in uh, Latin America. Uh, this is the second time that I'm talking about it in, here in Egypt, but you'll, you'll notice that how it comes about. Because I will, you don't need to be psychologically oriented, you need to have a person who's capable of having insight. Yeah. هل محتاجين نطبق النشاط على زوجين عندهم قدر كافي او كبير من الوعي النفسي مش بالضروره بس نكون عندهم قدر من ان هم يقدروا يشوفوا او يتاملوا او يعكسوا حاجات من هذا question okay now i want us to break out into teams of three so there will be like probably seven teams of three and share your answers with e with each other and then we're going to talk about how was the experience okay so we're going to do that for uh, 15 minutes, so everyone takes 5 minutes. Yes. And each partner takes 5 minutes. So you're, you're dividing into 7 groups. Your group should have three people. Uh, seven, eight, 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 e